This morning we have a rare report from inside Tesla Giga Berlin. We have a rare insight into the assembly of a 100 ton indoor crane at the Tesla Giga Berlin factory in the casting area after a five day setup phase and after a check of all functions, the crane immediately started its operation to assemble the Giga Presser, which is going to die cast the unibody of the upcoming Model Y electric crossover at at Tesla Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and EV news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. And if you find this report useful and informative, please give us thumbs up, like it, and share in social media. We would greatly appreciate. So today, Bank Kran system from Germany shared these pictures of a 100 ton crane mounted inside Giga Berlin and wrote the following saying Tesla Giga factory meaning Tesla Giga Berlin 100 ton process crane mounted and approved for operations within five days insight into the lifting assembly and expert acceptance of another bank crane for the Giga factory with a load bearing capacity of 100 ton on the main hoist and a 60 ton auxiliary auxiliary lift the two beam bridge crane is used in the casting area the heart of the tesla production site in brandenburg casting area is the heart of tesla giga berlin immediately after the expert approval the crane started with its first job the construction of the patented machine the giga berlin this is an exciting news friends and you're seeing some rare pictures shared by bank crane system what we are learning is that this crane has two beam bridge it, this is a two beam bridge crane and it has a load bearing capacity of 100 ton what's interesting here is that as far as i remember the tesla giga presser which came from germany i think by uh, from italy which i think came from the idra corporation is also 100 ton so you need that huge crane to be able to mount it and it also has a 60 ton auxiliary lift to be honest i don't know what 60 ton auxiliary lift is but uh, and the be load bearing capacity 100 ton maybe if you guys know you can explain in the comments section but this is very exciting and the pictures look very interesting and it's good to see what's happening inside the tesla giga factory in brandenburg in grunheide uh, where we're expecting the operations to start in july so while you're watching these pictures let me also share you some background information of what has been happening last week so there was some good news the water supply in brandenburg has been discussed with the tesla giga berlin uh, settlement near berlin for months you know i've reported that environmental associations have seen major problems for the region around the plant factory because of the water now the country wants to readjust uh, looks like bringing solution to tesla giga berlin second and third phases of uh, expansion due to the increased water demand in the Berlin area also due to the planned settlement of the US electric car manufacturer Tesla in Grunheide the Brandenburg Ministry of the Environment has announced last week further measures a spokeswoman said on Saturday just two days ago uh, that an unused groundwater supply in the Hangelsberg area should be explored and tapped to increase funding capacities for the supply of the Freimbrink Industrial Park including tesla this is a very good news because this means tesla can be kind of secure about the expansion of its second phase you know water is an important element of any production but as much as more people need it so it's good news that they're bringing water from Hangelsberg. Uh, the leap of fresh water requirements and the amount of wastewater produced by the Tesla plant in the first stage of expansion meant that almost all of the reserve capacity had been used up. The Handelsblatt had previously reported that's the German publication. Now, um, the, regarding the Tesla Giga Berlin, the maximum water consumption of 1.4 million cubic meters per year is needed for the 
first uh, expansion for the phase one tesla estimates that a maximum water consumption of 1.4 million cubic meters per year for the plant is needed a full capacity of 500,000 vehicles the value was reduced by 30 percent if you remember months ago i'd reported that true water saving measures that is the estimated maximum requirement under the most unfavorable conditions consumption should be significantly lower in regular operation for the entire area that tesla could expand over time the company set uh, a theoretical maximum of 3.6 million cubic meters of water per year the automaker plans to start production like i said in july um, the environmental approval for the project by the state of brandenburg is still pending tesla is already building with premium uh, preliminary permits for individual construction steps environmentalists and local residents are warning that the supply of drinking water will be damaged and that a nearby nature reserve will be affected by the factory now another th uh, the thing is that according to the ministry the responsible water association strasbourg or erkner uh, it's called wse has already signed a supply contract with with tesla for the water supply of the first expansion stage there are also possible solutions for the supply of future expansion stages with water the water supplier is supported financially by the state among other things the commissioning of a new water works should secure the future supply there are also plans to build an industrial sewage treatment plant that is uh, suitable for treating wastewater in the entire Heimring uh, industrial state the ministry of environment also points out that tesla could not yet provide any reliable benchmarks for the next stages of expansion of the car factory um, giga berlin and the battery production that was being discussed basically tesla hasn't yet provided any reliable benchmarks of how how much water it will need in the second stage uh, of giga berlin and also for the battery factory in order for further expansion stages to be approved the government said even the local government even stricter requirements for water saving production techniques are required that means uh, the water uh, associations they need more specific and exact numbers of how much water tesla will need but you know this is difficult to say right now also Recently, we learned that Tesla implemented stricter health and safety measures in the Gigafactory Berlin site. The initiative comes as the Brandenburg region experiences a fresh wave of uh, uh, virus in infections uh, and as if several workers in the Gigafactory Berlin site tested positive for this virus. As noted by the local media outlet Tagesspiegel at the list 20 virus cases have been confirmed in tesla's upcoming electric vehicle production plant uh, at giga berlin about 40 workers on the site have reportedly been placed in quarantine as well citing an industry insider the publication tagesspiegel noted that tesla has adopted extensive safety and hygiene measures in the giga berlin complex the company has also stated that it will be carrying out regular employee tests with the help of of its own test center on the construction site of Giga Berlin. Information gathered by Tagesspiegel indicated that rapid virus tests are being carried out in a tent at the Giga Berlin site. District spokesman Mario Benke stated that uh, uh, the confirmed virus cases in the Giga Berlin complex are pretty unsurprising considering the ongoing spike of in infections happening in the state. It was to be expected that one of the largest construction sites by electric car company in germany would not be left out in this virus that was just accelerating again in uh, germany um, tesla has considerable experience handling the virus uh, outbreaks with gigafactory shanghai being one of the facilities that experienced a mandatory shutdown last year i think it was only 10 days during this pandemic's early stages in china tesla developed a strict set of health and safety measures that allowed it to reopen giga shanghai safety Tesla measures were later adopted in the Fremont factory when reopening the site amidst uh, the United States uh, shutdown last year. Based on the recent reports from Germany, Tesla may be enacting these virus measures in Germany as well. So, uh, 
everything seems to be under control friends but the exciting uh, thing that we have a rare insight into the assembly of a 100 ton indoor crane at the tesla giga berlin factory in the casting area by uh, bank crane system uh, this is one more step uh, and proof that tesla is moving forward despite different and conflicting sometimes sometimes conflicting reports in the media that this crane after five days setup uh, 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 phase and after the check of all its checking of all its functionalities immediately started operating the the in the uh, in the to assemble the gigapressor which is going to um, die cast the unibody of the upcoming tesla model y electric crossover in giga berlin well friends let me know what your thoughts are about these developments and this major interesting step in giga berlin's construction and preparing it for the um, uh, for the assembly and the mass production of model y electric vehicles uh, this is armen harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for the daily interesting tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next report and also if you found this report informative please give us thumbs up like this video hit that like button and also share in social media facebook twitter reddit and so on have a great day god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and i'll see you soon in our next report today